Sometimes I'm in the presence of people that are not quite so positive thinking, and I sometimes don't even know what to say. Is it okay just well, to say nothing? Yes, or say to yourself, they're in a step one mode. They might produce a really good question to which I might receive a really good answer, and we're all in this together. And I'm stable enough that I don't need the condition to be perfect in order for me to be in alignment. Oh, there's such a freedom in that. If negative people are driving you nuts, it's because you're wobbly. It's because you're not sure about your vibration. And so you need them. You're depending on their positive focus in a sort of a conditional way in order to feel good. But if you can stand in the midst of something that isn't that positive and look for the nugget in it and feel appreciation for the existence of it, and maybe even acknowledge that you've been there too, and that it's not a bad thing. As you give other people permission to feel their negative emotion, at the same time, you give yourself permission to feel your negative emotion. And giving yourself permission, not only permission, but joyous acknowledgement that negative emotion is a good thing. That's really helpful. But if you get down on anybody that's having a hard time, then you're hard on yourself whenever you're having a hard time. Sort of like Esther will hear people being critical about elderly or about age. And as she's walking through a conversation like that, she'll say, that's going to bite you in the butt someday <laughs> because they're all going to move through time. And if you're practicing disdain about moving through time, if you're practicing the idea of decline or deficiency about moving through time, as you move through time, you're going to be in trouble with the beliefs that you have practiced about life in general, you see. So the more allowing you are, and we don't mean allowing because you're trying to give them a break. Sometimes they're really annoying. We don't mean that, but we mean allowing in the sense that all of it makes the world go round. And the less you focus on it and care about it, then the less active that will be in your vibration. And the less active that is in your vibration, then the fewer of those kinds of incidences you will attract into your own experience. Ooh embrace and revel in the variety of your world because all the good stuff is coming out of it you see